Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the most compelling and jaw-dropping camera footage we can find. Trail camera security cameras and other recording devices can capture events that occur when no one is around. We have gathered trail camera footage of wild animals, cryptids, paranormal activity, mysterious creatures lurking in the shadows, and strange phenomena that defy explanation. We have it all. Our team of experts scours the internet and beyond to bring you the latest and greatest in the world of wildlife and the unknown. So whether you're a seasoned cryptozoologist, a veteran outdoorsman, or just a curious viewer, buckle up and get ready for an adventure like no other. Now, let's get into the captures. Recently, an extraordinary paranormal video was discovered and uploaded to TikTok. The event reportedly took place in a section of woods near a horse stable. The man that discovered this clip decided to investigate the area, and he happened to see a man working the nearby land. He decided to ask the stable worker about any unusual happenings in the area. The man said he has encounters with coyotes or similar creatures. However, as the conversation developed, the question of whether the man had ever observed anything he couldn't explain in these parts. Upon hearing this, the man's eyes lit up with intrigue. The stable worker shared that just the previous week, his friend had recorded a peculiar video in these very woods. The footage, which was uploaded on his friend's private Facebook page, couldn't be directly shared. So he had to actually record the video that was playing on a phone with his phone. This mysterious incident was shared with numerous people, none of whom were able to decipher the strange happenings in the video. The original uploader welcomes all comments and theories. He is legitimately looking for answers. What adds a layer of strangeness to the entire incident is that the person who captured the original video now refuses to return to those woods. Observing the video carefully reveals a dog growling and seemingly looking in the direction where the inexplicable event takes place. It's an absolutely bewildering piece of footage that continues to baffle everyone who watches it. The man says, quote, Opinions on what transpired are eagerly sought. So what say you guys does anyone have any explanation for the figure in the video? This is just an awesome video here. A man has traveled to Florida and to a place dubbed the most dangerous fishing pier in the world. He attaches a GoPro to a rope and tosses it under a pier, and what we see next is incredible. Almost as soon as he drops it in, we see a giant tail, unmistakably belonging to a shark. As the video continues, the water is super clear and we see all the bait fish. The bait fish are attracted to the algae and other small fish that feed off the pilings. So the small fish attract bigger fish, which attract even bigger fish to eat those fish and so on. The moral of the story is, there's always a bigger fish. Now the stars of this video start to show up. Massive tiger sharks are just swimming around this pier. The guy says this pier is covered with tiger sharks. They're everywhere. Which really is crazy, because there are people swimming only a few hundred yards away, and tiger sharks are known as being some of the most aggressive sharks around. However, it bears mentioning that they don't seem too interested in the people swimming, which would be a much easier snack than trying to catch these fish, I'm sure. He eventually pulls up the camera and goes to the end of the pier, and he decides to drop the GoPro roughly 10 feet into the water, and for all my fishermen out there. Yep, yeah, those are juvenile cobia. For those that don't know, cobia is some of the most fun fish to catch. Pound for pound, they are one of the strongest saltwater fish and put up a great fight. Obviously, the sharks are the stars of this clip. But if you caught one of those juvenile cobia's parents, that would be a lot more fun than hooking that shark. Nevertheless, Awesome footage of the animal kingdom and go check this guy's page out.
A seriously freaky video hit TikTok just a few days ago, on June 12th. It's a piece of footage that sent shivers down people's spines because it showed something totally out of the ordinary. Something that felt like it was meant to stay hidden. The video came from a lady named Colleen who was just spending an ordinary day inside her home when something caught her eye. While looking out her window, she noticed a bizarre sight that she just had to record. In the video, you can hear Colleen stating with a strange kind of acceptance. This is what I deal with all the time. What she was trying to show were these two semi-transparent shadow figures that were just barely visible but definitely there. She made it clear that she was actually seeing these weird shadows for real, insisting I can literally see them with my own two eyes. The most unsettling part of this whole thing was the eerie stillness of these beings. They seemed to just stand there, silently watching her. This realization scared Colleen big time and left her clueless about what to make of it all. What's more, Colleen had mentioned that this wasn't the first time she had run into these spooky figures. She suspected that her house, or maybe the area around it is haunted because she's had similar hair-raising encounters in the past. The footage she shared is absolutely bone-chilling. It feels like a scene straight out of a horror movie, but for Colleen, it's just another day in her inexplicably spooky life. The story unfolds in Deer Lodge, Montana in October of 2000. Don Bromley, an 18-year-old man, is managing a ranch equipped with over 100 motion detecting trail cameras designed to catch predators or potential trespassers. One particular morning, Don checks the feed from the cameras and finds an intruder quite unlike any he's seen before. As he studies the figure, a chilling feeling takes hold. The figure appears bipedal, but there's something off about its appearance. The head is too big, too misshapen, and something about it simply doesn't sit right. The figure incites curiosity, even doubt, over what it could possibly be. On closer examination, especially focusing on the odd size of the head. One might question if it resembles a human at all. John Johnson clarifies that the camera that caught this figure was situated miles away from any type of road or trail. Intrigued by the mysterious figure and unable to shrug off his unease, Don decides to go back and conduct a more thorough photo analysis. This exercise hits close to home shedding light on how a human should look in comparison, leaving an unexplained figure in the image. The question arises, what exactly are we looking at here? Could it be a Bigfoot? Montana is renowned for its rich history of mysterious sightings, with Sasquatches topping the list. The state provides an excellent habitat for such creatures and has been known to be a hotspot for UFO activity as well. In fact, Back in 1950, Montana is believed to be the location where a man named Nick Mariana made UFO history by spotting two shiny objects moving in the sky and even managed to film them with a 16mm camera, a first as far as we know. So, do we think Don's camera captured something equally momentous? Could it be a Bigfoot, an extraterrestrial being, or something entirely new? The investigators decided to send Don's photo to their trusted forensic image analyst Michael for further examination. The first question he tackles is the authenticity of the image. Was it altered by Don? After conducting what is essentially an x-ray of the image, he discerns no signs of copy pasting or other forms of manipulation. He receives no alerts from his image authentication software about any inconsistencies. The conclusion that they came up with is that the image is indeed a camera original. Now, I guess what that means is that the photo itself is unaltered, but as you know, there could still be some funny business going on. Let me know what you guys think about this. Here we have footage originating from Ontario, Canada, where we can see a group of boaters leisurely enjoying their time on the lake. Suddenly, 
A figure darts between the trees on the nearby land, its movements quick and fleeting, as if not wanting to be detected. It's not uncommon for wild creatures to be timid, so this behavior isn't all that surprising. However, capturing this exact moment on camera could be seen as suspiciously good timing. Adding a layer of intrigue to the video, curiosity peaked. The boaters decide to navigate closer to the shore, aiming to get a better look at the mystery creature. Watching the zoomed in version of the footage might help you understand their fascination. Can you see it? An almost ape-like figure can be spotted, even though there are no known apes in Ontario. A closer examination of the video leads to more questions. Despite the creature's ape-like appearance, it moves with a peculiarly human-like gait. Moreover, the creature seems to have a hunched posture, adding to its eerie appeal. What other being do we know that shares these characteristics? You've probably guessed it already, the elusive Bigfoot. Could this footage indicate the presence of Bigfoot in Ontario? This could be just one piece of the puzzle in a larger mystery. It does make us wonder though, could there be more than one of these creatures in these woods? Is it possible we're dealing with a whole community of these beings, cleverly avoiding human detection? Another point to consider is whether the boat's approach might have startled the creature, causing it to come out of hiding. Share your thoughts and theories on this. Is this a lucky sighting of the legendary creature or just another enigma waiting to be solved? On June 20th of 2022, a bone chilling video surfaced on the TikTok platform, setting the digital world abuzz. The video showed a group of friends experiencing the simple joy of a tree swing behind their house. The night was alive with their laughter, their attention fully engaged in the moment, oblivious to the ominous presence that was silently observing them from the shadows. This particular house, the setting of our spine tingling tail, was nestled in a remote location far from the hum of city life. The property was flanked by dense woods, giving it an isolation that only heightened the sense of unease. After also sharing the video to Facebook, it was a family member who first spotted the eerie figure in the backdrop. The realization that they had been under the scrutiny of this lurking entity had the family members living in a state of terror ever since. The knowledge that they were not alone, that a creature had been quietly watching their nocturnal fun, had the family members on edge. Despite some spectators dismissing the video as an elaborate hoax, the family insisted on their innocence. They maintained that they were genuinely unaware of the unsettling presence and vehemently denied any staging. A flurry of comments pointed towards the mythical creature known as the Rake. This creature, as the lore goes, is a thin, pale humanoid infamous for its nocturnal prowls in the woods. Whatever this creature was, its presence implied danger, reminding us of the unknown lurking in the darkness. Ever watchful, ever present, let me know what you guys think about this clip. We're faced with another intriguing incident that suggests the possible sighting of the elusive creature, Bigfoot. What we have here is a series of images taken by a trail camera from diverse angles. These pictures display an enormous fur-covered figure that could easily be mistaken for an ape at first glance. However, upon closer examination, it's clear this is something entirely different. The location where these images were captured is quite remote, devoid of apes, bears, or any other known creatures that might resemble this figure. Considering this, it's no wonder that many are pointing towards the possibility of this being Bigfoot. The area, replete with dense forests and lush grass, certainly provides an ideal refuge for such an elusive being. However, upon watching the video closely, you might notice an intriguing detail. A peculiar structure stands in the background, sticks or limbs arranged in the form of a teepee. Could the trail camera have merely captured a person building this structure, perhaps even disguised in a ghillie suit? 
or on a more chilling note, could this be Bigfoot himself constructing his own habitat? One detail to add to the intrigue is that we never get a definitive look at the creature's face in the clear daylight. This raises the suspense and leaves more room for speculation. We're left pondering, could this be the real deal? A genuine Bigfoot sighting? Or could it be just an elaborate prank meant to stir up a sensation? I've offered my perspective, but now I'm interested in yours. Is this evidence of the mythical Bigfoot? Or is it just another elaborate hoax? I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories, so if you would, please share with everyone in the comments section. In the chill of November 2022, an unnerving narrative began to unwind on the pastoral stretches of El Key Ranch. A family-owned land spanning over 13,000 acres just southeast of Meeker, Colorado. Here, amid the shadow of the scenic White River National Forest, began the mysterious saga of inexplicable cattle deaths. The Klingelsmith family, stalwarts of Meeker, guided the fates of this ranch. Known for their industrious spirit and commitment to nature, they were honored with the Wildlife Landowners of the Year Award presented by Colorado Parks and Wildlife. As autumn leaves began to turn, a startling discovery was made. 19 juvenile carcasses, accompanied by the remains of a fully grown cow, were found dispersed across the Klinglesmith's property, the majority of which were clustered within a hauntingly narrow radius of just 1.5 miles. An alarm was immediately sounded to the Colorado Parks Wildlife Team, as well as the Department of Agriculture Wildlife Services. The initial investigation led to disconcerting clues. The eerie absence of tails and bite marks bearing the signatures of canine teeth on numerous carcasses. As more calf corpses were found, the tally of the dead escalated to a staggering 42 within a fortnight, along with two sick calves thought to be victims of the lethal brisket disease. While the evidence hinted at wolf predation, doubts began to creep in casting shadows over conclusions. Was this gruesome act the work of wolves or the misdeeds of a more mysterious predator? Could this be the return of the infamous dogman, Chupacabra, or some other cryptid, rumored in hushed whispers? With these theories in mind, the decision was made to install and monitor trail cameras across the sprawling acreage of the ranch. It was a meticulous task, but the hope was to capture visual evidence of the predator, natural or supernatural. That was stalking the LK Rant. For many a sleepless night, investigators vigilantly watched the footage, their eyes weary from the glow of screens, showing the unending vista of Colorado's wilderness. Days bled into nights and nights into days as the trail cameras whirred and clicked, documenting every stir of the wind, every shadow cast by the moon and every creature that happened to wander into their view. Each rustle of the underbrush sent hearts racing, only to be deflated by the sight of a harmless deer or a foraging raccoon. Never any wolves. A chilling pattern emerged from the jigsaw of macabre evidence. Signs of wolf predation were scarce among the remains, intensifying the mystery shrouding the incident. Despite considerable efforts, authorities were left scratching their heads contemplating theories ranging from wolf attacks to more sinister, unknown factors. The spectral specter of a hidden predator seemed to lurk just beyond their grasp. Further investigation pointed to a more terrestrial, yet elusive villain, a soil-borne bacterium, Clostridium chauve, notorious for causing blackleg disease in cattle and sheep. Yet, the puzzle was far from solved. What provoked the sudden outbreak of this deadly pathogen, causing a surge in cattle deaths? Rumors started to take flight, weaving tales of a mysterious creature lurking in the shadows, striking fear and uncertainty into the hearts of many. The land had seen such terror before. Throughout the early 1970s, Colorado had been the stage for a disturbing series of livestock deaths and mutilations leaving a legacy of fearful legends among cattle producers. As media coverage on the recent deaths surged, 
speculation ran wild, fueling rumors of extraterrestrial intervention and satanic cults, a haunting echo of the past mysteries. Despite detailed autopsies and extensive lab tests, the results remained inconclusive, offering no firm answers to the mystery of the cattle deaths. Authorities found themselves teetering on the edge of uncertainty, navigating a quagmire of doubts and unproven theories. With no clear culprit in sight, the investigation eventually wound down in February, leaving behind a tangled web of questions and theories. Despite the chilling tales and rumors that had swept across the state, the mystery of the Meeker cattle deaths persisted. In the absence of concrete proof, the problem of the silent predator remained unresolved. Even as the saga drew to a close, the lingering echoes of fear and uncertainty remained, leaving the tale of the mysterious cattle deaths in Meeker, Colorado, an unsolved mystery the echoes of which would continue to haunt the tranquil landscape for years to come. The only thing I could say, an investigator told the media, is that there was zero evidence of traditional wolves. Now, that is a pretty crazy story. As you can see from the pictures, many of the cattle seem to be uneaten. Stuff like this always makes me wonder about the chupacabra. While they traditionally prefer goats, these cows might have fallen victim to the blood-sucking beast. Let me know what theories you all have to explain this.